the purpose of this tutorial is to demonstrate how to calculate the copper area or basically the area of any item uh, within the FAD 3000 software tool. So to be able to perform copper area calculation, what you want to do is first of all determine which layers you'd like to have displayed. Uh, typically, in this particular instance, I'll turn off the drill layer, uh, the silk screen layer, and also the mask layers. So basically that leaves me with the metal layers for the top and bottom. And then to quickly determine the copper area calculation, all you do is you go to the tools menu, select copper area calculation. At this point, you can choose the method. There's basically three different methods. What uh, FAB3000 does is it uses a rasterization effect where it takes a graphic image of the each layer, uh, calculates the pixels and then scales them, and it's able to determine the copper area calculation from there. Pretty much there's not a huge difference between the options between medium and high. So we strongly recommend the medium just because it runs faster uh, or the low resolution if you wish to really get uh, fast gains. But in general, the tool is quite fast enough already. So in general, I'll just select the default. You can also choose the uh, options, how you'd like to have the copper report sent back to you, whether it's in inches or millimeters. In this case, I'll just leave the default inch, select next. And at this point, what you'll see is that it's calculated the copper area for the bottom, which is uh, 7.9 square inches. And the reason for that is there's a lot of ground planes and other things on that. On the bottom layers, there's a lot more metal. On the top layer, you'll see that there's uh, 1.74 square inches uh, because you've got less metal, obviously. And it gives you the total area uh, that's being used. This is how you can quickly determine the copper area calculation for any type of Gerber layers within FAT3000. Thank you.